Oh no! Oh no! Do not tell me it's happened! Not only does Jesus' ribbon have the best narrations in the entire world, he now has some nice quality to fucking boot. Oh, mothers, lock up your daughters, because I now have the full package, baby. It's fucking on. And to celebrate my ace card purchase, I um, have a battle here with Henkero32, and it's a standard battle. So I'm just going to go back to my old self here, and I leave with a Scarf Charizard, because I stabbed a bunch of new pokes. So I go for an overheat as he goes for a Torn, which was so delicious, I got good pains. And he goes into a T-Tar after that. And I don't know if you know a lot about T-Tars, but in the Sandstorm, with a minus two attack and not very effective overheat, it's not gonna do much. True story. You can take that one to the fucking bank. So, I am obviously not gonna stay in on this bad boy, so he goes to Pursuit off on me, and that's not good news, because that'll kill. He gets a crit, but I doubt it mad, to be honest. A hundred sta base 100 stab attack from a T-Tar is fucking powerful as shit. So I go into my uh, mill tank here, knowing full well I can't touch this Tita, and I'm just kind of praying he'll think I can, because I think like mill tanks can run like Thunder Wave and stuff. So I'm just praying like fuck he'll switch out, and I'm just gonna go for a Stealth Rocks on to switch. So I do that, and I would have had um quality like this about a week ago, guys. But I bought an Ace card. I ran downstairs. It was in the mail. I was so excited, I opened the box, I put it in my DS, and I realized I did not buy a memory card. So I had to buy one that night, and it took like another week to get here, so that was fucking retarded of me. And I would, um, I would, wasn't going to upload a battle today, but I, um, kind of was all excited about this whole ace card thing, so I thought I would, just to test it out. And also, he's got acid rain up at this point, so... He's got Acid Rain up. I am um, predicted that fact that he'd be faster, maybe, because if you ran max speed. I don't know why you would, but I'm a dick. So I get a Milk Drink off for 9 HP as he gets a Mash off and an Attack Raise. And Acid Rain is slowly withering me down. So I'm like, well, I can't fucking touch this thing, but I can't have anything to take a Mash either. So I just go for some Power Hacks. And guess what happens? I don't get it. And he gets to Mash me and kill me off, so... Good, good fucking two turns for me there. Played like a boss. So I die, and this is my fourth time narrating it. The first time, I clicked a button and it stopped my narration. The second time, my um, computer was lagging and I narrated for 18 minutes only to realize like the video was going slower. And this time, um, the third time, it was going slow again, so I had to narrate it again. So I'm, like, I've been narrating for like half an hour now, and I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit bored of it, but I'm determined to get a fucking video out before I go to bed. So, I go for an overheat on the Metagross, because I got a free switch in, and he goes in the Crobat as Death Fodder. So that was a good play on his part, and the fucking Acid Rain's up, and Ape's gonna get raped by it in the A-hole. <coughs> which is less than good news, I usually find. So, yeah, um... Oh yeah, and I call my Ape Mixed, and that is a double bluff, because everyone's like, Oh, Mixed, it's probably not a Mixed Ape, because who would call their Ape the name of their set? Me, that's who, it's fucking genius. I'm like a mind wizard. But um, he goes into a um, shuckle and I U-turn out because I can't touch that thing and I might get some damage on him. And this is my Choice Scarf Kingdra and I know you're thinking, Oh Jesus, you've done it again, another top quality set. And usually I'd agree with you, except I EV'd it wrong, so it is actually one point of speed slower than base 115, so... I played a game before this one, and a Raikou outsped me and Oko'd me, even though I thought I was going to be able to finish it off. So that was fucking horseshit. So after I finish this EV spread, then it's going to be an awesome Kingdra set with Choice Scarf. So, I, oh yeah, and that Hydro Pump killed there, by the way, and I was quite surprised by that. Can anyone tell me if I get my Rain Boost, even though it's Acid Rain? I would love to know. So, cause if anyone could leave a, link, a comment in the description telling me if they can or can't. Or do or get or don't get my rain boost, sorry. And that'd be awesome. So I thought this T-Tars gonna outspeed, because Scarf T-Tars can outspeed base 115s. But he doesn't outspeed me and I get Hydro Pomp off. So I'm thinking either Adamant Scarf, which is retarded, you shouldn't do that by the way, or Banded. But then I live the crunch and I'm like, you can't be Banded because I'd have fucking died. So I'm confused as to what kind of set this T-Tar is, especially since there's no lefties and stuff. It must be Adamant Scarf. And since um, my Kingdra outsped it, I know my Azelf can. 
<laughs> which is technically shouldn't be the case because as my as should be slower than my um, Kingdra, but I fucked up the spread. So I finish that off with a U-turn, go into my Claydol. Just because I don't want my Ape or my Azelf, which are the only two I have left of than Claydol, to take any um, Sandstorm. Even though the Acid Rain is gone now. So he goes into his own Claydol. And I want a Toxic off on that, and he gets a Stealth Rock on me. And if I keep taking pauses during the narration, by the way, guys, it's because I'm drinking. And I know that's not very professional, but fuck you, you know? So I get a still he gets Stealth Rocks up, which is quite of retarded this late game, to be honest. But it's his choice. And I'm just going to start psychic in now, because I, I know that's going to be fuck all, but like, it kind of counteracts his lefties, and that will just help with the Toxic Storm. Especially since I get a delicious special defense drop there, so I can actually start wearing it down to some degree. Unfortunately, however, he is not retarded, and he's not going to stay in on that. So, it's kind of all in vain. So I'm just going to keep psychic in away. And he is going to switch out into his Metagross for the times 4 resist, so that's good news for me. And I've got an Ape and a Azelf, so I'm like, I can fucking win this. Ape can handle both, um, Claydol and Metagross. As long as his last one's, you know, not that fast, I can win this game. So he mashes me, and I'm just going to fucking blow up, because I have nothing to come in and take this Metagross. So I, I blow up there just because I'm that fucking manly, to be honest. So, and it'll do shit all. Look at that, that's fucking disgustingly pathetic. Like, a third? A third? That's retarded. Two swords dancers on that claydol and he still wouldn't have killed. So I go into Ape and I'm just gonna overheat and... It doesn't matter what he does, that's gonna hurt anything and I outspeed the claydol if it comes in, so... I could just finish that off. But he leaves the Metagross in for Death Fodder, which was a good play in hindsight. And then the sheer hits the fan. Cause I'm like, okay, what's his last? What's his last? It's gotta be something slower than me. Something slower than ape and I win. Something slower than ape and I win. No! It's a Jolteon and I'm fucked at this point. Even if it's not even if it's choice, I have nothing to take the T bolt, so it doesn't matter, I've fucking lost. My Azelf is um in the wings and that's gonna get okoed by a shadow ball if I remember correctly. Yeah, because he's Life Orb, so it's a Shadow Ball that kills me off. So, that's a good game, um... Henkro32, you've defeated me in a standard match, and we all know how ridiculously hard that is to do. You're basically a god now. So, um, I'm on a two-week vacation, so I'll be uploading a lot more, so... Look forward to it, you lucky, lucky dogs. I'll catch you all later. Ciao, ciao.